In this video, we'll take a look at how you can reset your password in the event you've forgotten it. If you see the message saying the password is incorrect, then we can use a free tool which will help you reset this. To do this, you'll need to access another computer to download the tool, open up a web browser, and do a search for LazySoft. And you can see this comes up as the first option. So let's go to download. Now you can see there's a few options to choose from. As I'm using my personal computer, I'll download the home edition, which is free to use. This will start the download of the setup file. Once that's complete, I'll minimize the browser and go into my downloads folder and run the setup file for this. Select the language you want to use and select OK. I'll accept the license agreement and next. I'll leave the installation location on the default settings in program files and next. The start menu folder I'll also leave as default and select next and select install. Once that's completed, go to finish. And this will then load the lazy soft recovery suite. Now we need to create a bootable USB with the lazy soft application on. So make sure you have a USB ready to use with no data on it. The USB will be formatted during this process, so if you need any data that's already on the USB at the moment, then make sure it's backed up to another location. To get started, go to the burn CD or USB disk option. For the please select the Windows version, I'll leave this as same as this computer, as the computer I want to reset the password on is also Windows 10 64 bit. You can change this here for another operating system if yours is different. Go to next. Now choose a bootable device that you want to use. I'm using a USB, so I'll select this. If you have more than one USB connected to the computer, then make sure you select the correct drive letter for this. I only have one USB connected and it's under the D drive, which is shown here. Then let's go to start. You'll get a warning about how the USB will be formatted, so again make sure you have any data on the USB backed up first. Select the yes when ready. This can take a few minutes to complete, so I'll speed this up. Okay, that's completed successfully, so let's go to finish. And you can see the USB created with the LazySoft label, along with the bootable files needed for the application. Next step is to take this USB and use it on your original computer. Now you'll want to have the USB connected to the computer first before powering it on as you want to get into the boot manager menu. When you power your computer on, you can normally get into this menu when the computer starts up by pressing the escape key or one of the F1 to F12 keys. Each computer is different so check your computer vendor's website to see which key you need to press for this. But from what I've seen, the keys that will get you here are either escape F1, F2, or F10. You want to press this key before you see the Windows icon start to load. If you see the Windows icon loading in the middle of the screen, then you've missed it and you need to start again. Now your menu might look different to mine, but once loaded, you want to select the USB device connected. Then select LazySoft Live CD. This will start to prepare the application from the USB for you to use. Once loaded, you want to go to the password recovery section. This will load the reset windows password wizard where you can reset your local windows account. Go to next. As it's my home PC, I'll select yes for non-commercial use. So it's detected my windows 10 64 bit volume, which is good. And the action I want to take is to reset the local password. Select next. This checks the volume and locates the local Windows account on your computer. Now the account I want to reset is the laptop account. The laptop as you can see is an administrator account and it doesn't have a blank password. I'll select this account. Then I'll go to next. 
So here it tells you to click the reset slash unlock button to reset the account to a blank password and it will also unlock the account from its locked or disabled state. So if we go and select the reset slash unlock button, this will tell us that it has successfully reset the password. And if you go to OK and finish, this will bring you back to the main menu. Now to confirm this has reset the laptop account with a blank password, go back into the password recovery section so we can see the accounts again. And here you can see that the laptop account now has a blank password which will allow us to log back into our computer. So let's cancel out of this. And now we can go ahead and reboot the computer to log back into Windows 10. Once the computer starts to boot up, you'll see that it logs me into Windows 10 straight away with the laptop account because of the blank password. So now that you're logged back into your computer, you should now change the password to something a bit more secure. Press Ctrl O and delete. Here you have the option to change a password. We can leave the old password blank and enter a new secure password. And there we go, the password has successfully been changed. So I hope you found this video useful and if it helped you out then let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.